Hey, what's up, y'all? So check it out. So I got a couple weekends before I go out on another wheeling trip. Um, going up to Hidden Falls with a group. I can't remember the name, but it's on Facebook. Anyways, I keep seeing a question that's being asked over and over. I made a video on it about a year and a half ago, and still people are still asking questions. So guess what? I'm gonna cover it again. Now, one of the main reasons I'm covering it again because there's been a lot of updates since a year and a half ago. That's how technology works, right? And because of the updates, that means changes. And because there's been a lot of changes, there's been a lot of products thrown out there that I think everybody needs to be aware of to help you out in this process, I'm gonna hook y'all up. So what I'm gonna cover again is J-Scan. A lot of y'all keep asking, how do I calibrate my tires? How do I change stuff for LED, reprogram for this, that, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. And it is a continuous question. That needs to be answered. Nothing wrong with that, people wanna know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the components that I have, where they connect, how to connect to the Bluetooth module, J-Scan and everything. And then I'm gonna show you some of the features, not all of them, cause there's a lot. And then you can decide. Cool? Cool, let's go. Now to get hooked up on J-Scan, there ain't really but three things you need. Actually four, but that fourth one you don't really need, but it'll help. And I'll show you what that is. Cause you wanna save these bad boys right here, just in case. Now. The three things that you really need though is a cell phone, which could be an iPhone or Android, doesn't really matter. You wanna have the SGW cable, which stands for Secure Gateway Cables, and you wanna have the Bluetooth module, OBD adapter. And I'm gonna show you all of them. Check it out. So right here, as you can see, I have my SGW cables and I have my Bluetooth module. The SGW cables you could get off of Amazon, not really expensive, less than 20 bucks. I post a link down in the bottom and the Bluetooth module you can also get in Amazon which I post a link to in the bottom. Um, you don't have to get all high tech on this. iCar Pro, VGate, no point in looking for anything else. It works. So just get this one, get these cables and leave it be. This is the tablet that I'm going to be using which is a Samsung S6 Lite. It's got a huge screen, easy to see, no problems. But you can use a cell phone. Any cell phone, Android, Apple, iPad, doesn't matter. Either one, because it's just an app. Up underneath here, if you look under there, you can tell because one is bigger than the other one. See? That one's wider than that one. And underneath there, there's a spot up underneath your dash. The JLs, from, what, from my understanding, from my experience so far, they don't have that bar there. The gladiators have a bar there that gets in your way that you can put a hurting on your knuckles. So what you do is on those connectors underneath, and this is the JLs and the JTs, on the JKs, you just need this. Any Chrysler vehicle that's newer than I would say, I think 2018 uses these. You might have to look it up, do some research, but anything newer. Um, you can use it on, once you get the JSCAN app, you will see you can use it on all Mopar vehicles. Now, what, this would ha what would happen is, you take these two, you plug them in to the connections up underneath. There's two connectors already connected there, and you disconnect those two, and you plug this in place. Then what you do, you take, plug your OBD Bluetooth adapter into these, and you're connected. Now, there's a reason I showed you this first and not showed you the cables. Underneath, as soon as I get it disconnected here, these are the two cables that you're looking for. These are extension cables. This is the fourth part, which is not necessary, but these extension cables will save your life. Promise me. And if you notice, they look just like the OBD adapter. Now, these are the cables where you want to connect this to. And if these extension cables weren't here, these two cables would normally connect in that spot under the dash. But since I got extension cables here, I have the extension cables connected in there. So it makes easy access. All I have to do is just reach under here and soon as I find the right one and connect it just like this. Yep, I'm getting it. 
tuck the wires way up under the dash and you're good to go. But since we're running this adapter, just reach up under there, grab them, grab your SEW cables, find the right one. Well, of course you can't mess it up. Connect it in there, connect it in there, and that's all it takes. And then when you get done setting whatever you need to set, you can just put it back. And if you notice, the light's already on because it's connected to power, and you're good to go. Now I'm going to show you how to connect to it with the JScan app and everything. So let's go. Now before I get started, keep in mind that you have to purchase a license for your vehicle, and it's associated with the VIN. Now it's cheap. I bought the license to the VIN for like five different vehicles. Our JKU, the Gladiator that I'm sitting in, and three of my parents' Mopar vehicles so I can use them on all three. So it's fairly cheap, and I think I bought them all for less than 120 bucks. So keep in mind that you still have to purchase the license for the vehicle after you download the app and get all the associated cables and everything. So what you want to do is you want to go into OBD JSCAN, find your vehicle, and there you'll see, you see J Chrysler, Dodge, Ram, or you can click all and it shows them all. You see the Charger, the Sebring, everything on there. Go on the Jeep, and over here, if you're dealing with a Gladiator, it'll say Wrangler JT, but don't stress. It's the JT. Don't worry about the word. Click on it. It'll say preparing vehicle data. Then you wait. Give it a second. And then you want to do is look over here and it say Bluetooth. Because you are using a Bluetooth module. Click that and it'll tell you what position the engine needs to be in. Now, mine didn't connect. Why? Because my engine is off. So here's what you do. You go over here to your auto start button, push it twice, and it goes to run. And there you go. Now you should be good. All your lights will come on on your dash, and then you should be ready to connect. Then you push the Bluetooth again. It'll tell you the same thing, what it should be in. It says vehicle initializing, and it comes up, and there you go. That's all to it. You got your quick diagnostic where you can run, and it reads all your trouble codes and everything. Um, if you got any, you can clear them out over there, refresh, the actual test it performed, Trail view tells you where, whether your axles are locked or not. If you got lockers, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, both locked. See, it says two. And then you go to advanced scan where it does a more advanced scan of everything. Then you have your modules where it shows you park assist, airbags. I mean, you can read it for yourself when you actually get the app. It shows the instrument cluster, um, everything, blind spot sensor. You go into here, it tells you your VIN number, your model number to your parts, parts number, everything. But when you start adjusting things, you want to go here to adaptation. And there where you got a whole list of stuff. And the first one you see up to the top, well not the first one, you got your lights, you want to set your light settings, then you got your auto start. You go in there in case you want to disconnect that pin up under the hood. You go in there, boom, look, deactivate it. So the light won't come on the dash, you won't get that, the so-called Avengers light. Um, when you have an issue with your battery or your auto start. Uh, you got your auxiliary switch settings in case you want to set your auxiliary switches. Your Jeep didn't come with it. You add them afterwards. Uh, let's see some of the more common ones. You got other stuff, LED lights in case you add your LED lights to your Jeep. You came with the halogen. Um, passive entry in case you add your passive entry later. Your tire pressure settings right here in case you want to lower the threshold where when you air down, you want to lower it to, we'll say 10. You lower it down to 12, the light won't come on the dash and drive you nuts when you're on the trail. Uh, vehicle maintenance, oil change, you can actually reset it here, but you don't have to because you can reset it without this. Doesn't matter. Trailer lamp settings. Um, but here's this one. The one that everybody keeps asking about. You go in tire and axle settings. Look at that. You can set your locker configuration. If you have it, um, let's go down here. You can also set your axle ratio. So if you upgrade from something, look at that, got them all in there. You got the 373s, you upgrade the 488s, you can set it for that. 513s, you can do all that in there. 
Oh, uh, let me find it. You can set your ratio and everything, but here's an, the one, one of the ones that everyone keeps asking about, your tire size. You go in there, it even gives you a little diagram to tell you how to measure for your tire size. Because just because you say you got 37s don't mean you got a 237 or a 35 or whatever. So you measure it, go in there and it's got all your different tire sizes in there and you're good to go. Hit go and after each one it'll tell you what position you need to be in for the set. It'll say key off, key on, start or whatever. And you're good to go. Well, there's the fad in case you want to take the fad out. You know, I keep finding stuff. But... You can once you get J scan, you can go through the menu and find everything yourself. Just make sure you purchase the license because you'll see up here it's associated with my VIN. Um, it tells where my battery is sitting at, all of that. Everything's on there. Just that easy. I'm gonna back out. So that's it. It's not that complicated. It's very easy to navigate. It's easier if you have a tablet because the screen is bigger to see than your phone but you don't need it you can use the phone Android Apple either one doesn't matter it'll work hey that's it that's J scan y'all look it's inexpensive and it works it does everything you needed to do you can do your ESS your auto start you can calibrate your tires for your axle ratio all that no problems just make sure you get the cables Make sure you get the right OBD Bluetooth adapter and make sure you purchase the license for your vehicle. And like I said before, I got the license to like five vehicles for like 120 bucks or something like that. And it works from everything. I think from 2013 and up, you're gonna have to research that on your own. But I do know that it works on the JK, the JL, and the JT. So y'all get the J scan, take care of your stuff, do what you gotta do. I hope this video was informative. I hope it helped someone. And y'all have a great day. So y'all stay safe. Don't forget to smile. And go out and have fun, y'all. Peace out.